टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थियरीज ऑफ फेलियर सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाई वी शुड लर्न द थियरीज ऑफ फेलियर सो दे हेल्प अस टू डिटरमाइन द सेफ डायमेंशन ऑफ ए मशीन कंपोनेंट वैन इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू कंबाइन प्रोसेस ड्यू टू वेरियस लोड्स एक्टिंग ऑन इट सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द केस नंबर वन दिस इज द मशीन कंपोनेंट that is subjected to only axial tensile force and say for example it is the cylindrical component so the diameter is the d so it is very simple to design the machine component if you know that yield stress in the tensile stress is equal to load upon area and load you know that p divided by area so if it is circular cross section then it is pi by 4 d square and that should be equate with the yield strength and so that you can find the diameter of the machine component if you know that the value of load so it is very simple in case number 1 now try to understand the case number 2 the same cylindrical shaft is now subjected to the axial load as well as the twisting moment so at that time it is a little bit difficult to find the value of the diameter so the strength of the machine members is based upon the mechanical properties of the materials used since these properties are usually determined from the simple tension test or the compression test therefore predicting failure in members subjected to uniaxial stress is very simple and straightforward and that we have seen in the earlier slide or case number 1 but the problem of predicting failure stresses for members subjected to biaxial or triaxial stresses is much more complicated and that we have seen in earlier slide or case number 2 so various theories of failures have been put by different person in case of biaxial or triaxial stresses on elastic failure of material under complex system of stresses and so that we should learn the different theories of failures and its selection criteria so first maximum shear stress theory that is sometimes known as tresca and gas theory and that is suitable for the ductile material second theory is a maximum distortion energy theory that is sometimes known as von mises and hanke theory but generally it is called as von mises theory only and that is most accurate for the ductile material third one maximum principle or sometimes it is called as maximum normal stress theory that is also known as rankine theory and that is suitable for the brittle material and the fourth one coulomb mohr's theory that is also used for the brittle material so these all theory we are going to discuss one by one in detail in this session so let's start from the first one maximum shear stress theory so first statement so it states that the failure of the mechanical component subjected to biaxial or triaxial stresses occurs when the maximum shear stress from a combination of principal stresses at any point reaches shear stress at yielding in the uniaxial tensile test so these two lines are the condition for the maximum shear stress theory and this one is the conclusion so simply you can say if the machine component is subjected to biaxial or triaxial stresses it will fail when the maximum shear stress at any point reaches the shear stress in the uniaxial tensile test so failures occurs when that maximum shear stress is greater than the stress at yielding in the uniaxial tensile test so this is the shear stress yielding in the uniaxial tensile test so if your tau max is greater than shear stress in the uniaxial tensile test then the material will fail so you can say tau max is greater than or equal to 0.5 into s y t 
where SYT is the yield strength in tensile. So you can say yield shear stress that is always half of the yield tensile strength. So for a safety, your tau maximum is up to SSY. If it is more than SSY, then the material will fail. And if the factor of safety is given to you, then you have to consider the factor of safety also. So at that time, your tau max is equal to SSY upon NF. So NF is your factor of safety. So you know that SSY is equal to 0.5 SYT by NF. So if it is shear stress is given to you in case of uniaxial tensile test, then you can use this equation. If yield strength in tensile is given to you, then you can use this equation. So in the three dimensional stress situation, the state of stress at a particular location is fully defined by three principal stresses. Sigma 1, Sigma 2 and Sigma 3. So the extreme value of shear stress tau 1, 2, tau 1, 3 and tau 2, 3. If we assume that the relation between these three principal stress is like that Sigma 1 is greater than Sigma 2 is greater than Sigma 3. So at that time you can say Sigma 1 is the major principal stress and Sigma 3 is the minor principal stress. So here you can say the maximum shear stress that is tau 1 3. So tau 1 3 will be the maximum out of these three different shear stresses. So you can say tau max that is tau 1 3 that is sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2. So you can say sigma 1 that is the SYT that means yield stress in tensile and sigma 3 is 0 in case of two dimensional stresses. So if you simplify, then you will get SYT by 2. And that we have discussed in earlier slide that tau maximum is equal to SYT by 2. You can say it is 0.5 SYT. So that is the mathematical statement of maximum shear stress theory. Tau maximum is equal to 0.5 SYT. So that we have discussed in earlier slide. Now the selection criteria. The ductile materials are weaker in shear always and hence this theory which accounts for shear failure is used for the ductile materials. If this theory is used, the results are on conservative side that means much more safer side. Hence when some uncertainty in loading or assumptions are made in design for simplification, this theory is preferred. For biaxial stress system, two principal stresses, sigma 1 and sigma 2, are plotted on x and y axis as shown in figure. So here you can see sigma 1 on x axis and sigma 2 on the y axis. And sigma 1 and sigma 2 are the major principal stress and minor principal stress respectively so that this zone is called as the safer zone. So you can say the green color is the safe zone according to maximum shear stress theory. Now second one, maximum distortion energy theory. So first try to understand this statement. So it states that the failure of the mechanical component subjected to biaxial or triaxial stresses occurs when the distortion energy per unit volume at any point in a component reaches the limiting distortion energy per unit volume at the yield point in simple tension test. So failures occurs when UD that is greater than UDY where UD is what once again the distortion energy per unit volume and UDY that is the limiting distortion energy per unit volume in a simple tension test. So for the safety, so that is actually derived equation. So directly you have to remember for a safety in case of maximum distortion energy theory, square root of sigma 1 square minus sigma 1 into sigma 2 plus sigma 2 square. 
it should be less than or equal to SYT upon NF where sigma 1 and sigma 2 are the major principal stress and minor principal stress respectively SYT is the yield stress in tensile and NF that is the factor of safety so the selection criteria for a ductile materials this theory is very accurate and more close to the actual failure than any other theory so if you compare this maximum distortion energy theory with the maximum shear stress theory then maximum distortion energy theory will give you very accurate result hence this theory is widely used for a ductile materials when accurate results are required this is the safer zone according to the maximum distortion energy theory so if we plot major principal stress on the x axis and minor principal stress on the y axis then this is the safe zone according to maximum distortion energy theory now if you compare with the maximum shear stress theory then this is the safe zone by maximum shear stress theory so if you highlight over here with the different color and this yellow shade that is according to the maximum shear stress theory that is also known as Tresca's theory and this pink color is according to the one mysis theory that means maximum distortion energy theory now the third one maximum principal stress theory or you can say maximum normal stress theory so statement the failure or yielding occurs at a point in a member when the maximum principal or normal stress in a biaxial stress system reaches the ultimate or yield strength of the material in a simple tension test so the condition of failure for the machine component is sigma 1 greater than or equal to sy or su so sigma 1 that means what the maximum principal stress and sy is the yield strength su is the ultimate strength so if your major principal stress is greater than or equal to yield strength or ultimate strength then the material will fail so if you consider the factor of safety then your sigma 1 should be equal to sy or su upon nf where nf is the factor of safety so for biaxial stress system two principal stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 are plotted on x and y axis as shown in figure so sigma 1 on x axis and sigma 2 on y axis then this green zone is the safe zone according to maximum principal stress theory so green zone is the safe zone and this theory is generally preferred for the brittle material so thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video